how's everybody doing my name is anthony brian logan and today we gotta talk about this picture that has gone viral over the past three or four days you see the picture on the screen before you the woman's name in the picture is brenda spencer she is 22 years old and is soon to be college grad at utc that is university of tennessee at chattanooga and you see why the picture has gone viral but before we get into that i just want to say that this area I know very well. I live in the area, so I know all about this particular region. I'll place a picture of myself on the screen before you in that same spot where she was. You see the little glass rail, I suppose, and you see the bridge behind myself. It's the same one that's behind her, but let's get back to her picture. Now, you see why this picture has gone viral and it also caused some kind of controversy. You see the gun in her pants. Um, people are saying that the gun is haphazardly in her waistband. No, it's not. She has on the invisible holster that you cannot see, which she said on Twitter. And of course, the other obvious thing is the women for Trump t-shirt. That's going to trigger a lot of people and also her being white and blind. That might not help to the racist, ignorant liberals out there. But before I go any further, let's watch this clip from Fox News. She did appear on the show to talk about everything that's going on, to give you a little bit more info about herself, and to talk about some of the backlash she got in the tweets, aside from what I just said right now. So after we get done with that, I'll talk about that. Then I wrap it on up and put a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. A student at the University of Tennessee, she's right there, defending her graduation picture after posing with a gun in her waistband while lifting her Women for Trump t-shirt. The viral photo comes at a time where both the Second Amendment and conservatives are under attack on college campuses. Joining us now is that student, Brenna Spencer. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So we saw the picture. I know that you've gotten a lot of backlash and we'll talk about that, but why did you want to wear that t-shirt and then show the gun? Yeah, so taking my graduation photos, I figured that I wanted them to be personal and show who I am and represent the person that I am. So obviously being very passionate about conservative politics and the Second Amendment, I decided that that was what I wanted to do. How did you get to this point in your life? Tell us a little bit about you, where you grew up, what your major is, and why you're so pro-gun and why you support the president. Yeah, um, I grew up in Cincinnati, actually, and my family moved to Nashville when I was around 10 years old. Um, my parents have been very active in politics, so I kind of got my passion from them and hearing about what you know they have to tell me. So. I want to read some of the tweets that um, we pulled from Twitter. This girl, Lisa, says, you realize employers will see this, right? Hope you enjoy living with mom and dad. Lily says, I support the second, but don't get why anyone wants photos taken with their gun that anyone can get. Attention seeker, hashtag issues. What's your response? Right. Um, sexual assault has grabbed a lot of attention these past few years, especially on college campuses. So I think it's important for women to be able to know that they are their first line of defense. Yep. So, you know, as the campus leadership, um, campus reform, I'm sorry, as the campus reform has been reporting, the Second Amendment has been under attack, especially on college campuses. So not only do they try to restrict our right to carry on campus, but they also are trying to up the age to 21 to buy a gun. So I think it's really important to empower people to show that you should be allowed to protect yourself. Your rights don't stop at a college campus. Correct. Do you regret doing this? Because it, it's not fun, especially at your age, you're 22 years old, to get these attacks from people. And um, you have every right to do this, but would you do it again? Yeah, absolutely. I would do it. It's really, really important to empower the tens of millions of women, gun owning women, and let them know that they have a voice. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people, I mean, think about this election. A lot of people didn't want to admit that they were voting for Donald Trump. The left did not think he was going to win. Many Republicans didn't think he was going to win, and he did. Many people were scared to, to vocalize why they liked him or that they were voting for him. So what do you say to people who have strong opinions but are too afraid to do them? I mean, you obviously are bold and courageous and don't care about the backlash but what do you what's your advice to people who do care about it you you have a voice you know the backlash is there and you're gonna get hate but it's really really important to stand up for what you believe in it's important to voice your opinions and continue to do it what did your parents think about this uh, 
My parents love it. My parents are actually with me right now. Oh, really? <laughs> what about your friends? Yeah. Um, I have a lot of conservative friends, and I actually have a lot of more left-leaning friends, too, and both of them are really, really supportive. Okay. And what do you want to do with your future? I, I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll see. This has opened a lot of doors for me, mm -hmm. so I'm going to kind of roll with it. You know, I've found that to be true. When you find your voice and you don't care what anyone else thinks anymore, a door's just open for you. So we wish you all the best. God bless you. Thanks for being on with us. Okay, so you see what's going on. You see what's happening. Now, I think that she is a brave woman to come out here and do this because you have to know when you do something like that, you're going to get a lot of hate, people that are ignorant. I read through the original post, which I will put in the box below. People were saying all kind of crazy things, talking about, oh, well, you can't have your gun inside the Hunter Museum in Chattanooga. It's illegal. It's against the rules. First of all, she was not inside. You saw my picture. I was able to demonstrate where this is. It's not inside the museum. It's outside the museum. It's like a sidewalk right there. You can walk across the bridge and go in that area and not ever step foot inside the museum. So you're not inside the museum, number one. Number two, I think there was rule that said you can't have the gun outside the museum as well. I don't know how that works. Like, where does the jurisdiction start and end? Okay, if I'm not inside, I'm not inside. So... I don't know really how that works. I think that they have changed their rules ever since this story has gone viral, but I'm not quite sure. People talking about trying to inform the police of her activities and all this and that. Well, the police came out, if I'm not mistaken, and if I'm wrong about this, let me know in the comments below. But somebody from the police came out and said, well, this is not really a big deal. It's nothing burger. We spoke with Mark Haskins about the picture. He worked 30 years in law enforcement with the Chattanooga Police Department, and he's now the lead firearms instructor at Shooter's Depot. She's not actually, she's pulling up her shirt to expose it, so probably she's she has it, you know, concealed. So, and I mean, so I don't have any adverse reaction to that. Mark has been teaching Tennessee handgun permit classes for more than 20 years. He says although it is legal in most places, he's not a fan of openly carrying Carrying a gun. He recommends concealing the gun for safety reasons. And then the other thing is it just disturbs some people. So, uh, you know, you, sometimes you get an adverse reaction. So if it's concealed, nobody knows the difference. The Second Amendment guarantees us certain freedom. So it's, it's you know, guaranteed by the Constitution is the way I look at it. Yep. You know, the thing about Chattanooga is that they're not concerned about legal gun owners. The city itself is pretty liberal, but the surrounding area, Hamilton County, Bradley County, North Georgia, North Alabama, and parts due west of Tennessee and also like towards Carolina, they're not really worried about lawful gun owners. They support a second amendment. They support conservative principles. Okay. They're more worried about the gang violence that happens in downtown. They're not worried about legal gun owners. It doesn't really matter what color you are, where you're from or what have you. So Anybody trying to call the police, you're just not making any sense. I feel like you're just being jealous because you have a young, pretty lady who is confident in herself as a conservative, as somebody that is a gun owner. She's not going to be bullied by internet haters, basement dwellers, the true deplorables, as Hillary Clinton famously said. She's going to do what she feels is the right thing to do, as long as it's legal, as far as I know. As the caption on the original picture states, I don't take normal college graduation photos. She's not going to just be a sheep aligning herself with the pack, which I really appreciate and respect. So shout out to her. Hopefully I'll be able to have her on the show as a local resident. That would be fantastic. But I just want to get the story out there to give her a lot of support. So that's pretty much all I got. So what do you think? Do you think that this was a good move, a courageous move to wear the gun and show it and also the trump t-shirt is that a brave thing to do we've seen antifa and all the other groups uh attack people for simply being a trump supporter i think it was a case in washington dc where a woman got beat up by two other women because she said she was a trump supporter so imagine having your woman for trump t-shirt on in a place putting it online and then the reaction what's going to be the reaction to that they see this young girl they think she's going to be easily bullied or what have you that's not the case she stood up to everything that was going on 
in a very classy and feminine way. So shout out to her. But do you think I'm wrong? Do you think it was a bad idea to have on this T-shirt in public, to have the gun openly displayed in public? And if so, what is your reasoning behind that? Are you somebody that thinks she's being paid by the NRA? Are you somebody that hates conservative values? Now, if you heard what I said and you heard what she said, what is so bad about what either of us have said? If you can answer that, I'd love to hear it in the box below. If you cannot answer that, then I'm not really trying to hear you. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.